Time's up. Let's do this. We're in for a wild night. <laughs> Welcome, 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 everybody, to episode 172 of Born to be Wild, a wild exclusive Hearthstone podcast where we have fun hanging out with friends, talking about the wild format of Hearthstone and spotlighting members of the wild community. I'm your host, as always, Nate Wolf. It is great to be here on a beautiful Friday evening. I am joining you live from Orange County, California, uh, joined tonight by three of my very favorite people, um, two uh, co hosts, as always, and a returning very special guest. So happy to have you all here. But let's start with you. Hydralisk, welcome back from vacation. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. I'm very glad to be back. I have done a lot of driving and I'm very happy to be sitting in this uh, wonderful seat that I'm in now. I drove almost about 2000 miles in um, fake America land uh, uh, distance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> More like three thousand kilometers. Anyway, it was it was a blast. I'm glad to be back. That's Being more than two. Seated here is 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 really cool, and I'm glad to chat about this awesome game that we got so much happening. So, stoked. oh gosh, there's so much, right? Yeah. All right. Well, Electric Sheep City, welcome back. How are you, friend? Uh, meowdy, friends. I'm doing fantastic. Had a super long week, but uh, had the final day on the old job and started the new one on Tuesday. Got a long weekend ahead to play some Hearthstone. I can't wait. And of course, we are joined this week by our special guest, Azalea Kari. Welcome, awesome human Azalea. Welcome back. <laughs> awesome human. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. I'm super happy to be here. Absolutely. Excellent. It's always good to have you. <laughs> And how are you doing this week as well, my friend? Um, overall, pretty good week. Um, Hearthstone ladder went really well. I, f I uh, got my highest ever standard finish, which I guess for me is great in like the three thousands. Uh, probably in um, probably about four nice. k by time the by time it rolled around. Um, but I looked at it and I said, I have an hour and a half before I'm sleeping. I'm not spending it trying to grind eleven x <laughs> almost four k. So, um. But yeah, I've had a really good week of, of playing uh wise choice. Fun, fun decks and heart fun decks and wild, honestly. Like I'm eight X and I'm probably I'm pretty sure I stayed eight X. Um but it's just playing fun decks like like Jade Shaman before Twist came out just to have fun with it and nice. all this other stuff. So um yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Uh Life Outside of Hearthstone also going well. Good. So, good, good, love good. To, love to cool, have that happening. Absolutely. Absolutely love to hear it. So aside from that, we last spoke to you in March. How have you been the past half year? Um has it really been that long? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, Somehow, I was, yeah. that's I so was, weird. I was the guest when I was the guest for the announcement of the new Hearthstone season. So back when Year of the Wolf was announced, I was the guest. So yeah, oh. the six last six months have been pretty have been pretty good. Good. Um yeah, I, th I think uh, just I've been really enjoying Hearthstone. I, I there was aspects of the first expansion I wasn't thrilled with, but uh, absolutely this one has made up for it in spades. Good excitement abounds. Yes. So for those of you joining us for the first time, welcome aboard. Let me briefly explain how this show works. We record this very podcast live every Friday evening at twitch.tv slash born to be wild hs and the video versions of this podcast is then posted to youtube shortly thereafter audio versions are also distributed to all the podcast apps so however you are watching listening or absorbing via osmosis this podcast today thank you yes you, you. like soldier boy you. <laughs> yeah hey thank you everybody for joining us especially a uh, big shout out to those of you who are joining us live on twitch uh, it's always really great to to interact with everybody and it's friday night you could be anywhere but you're here with us so we really appreciate you did want to say a big thank you to shakuna the exec executive producer of our show and to armorn and our other patrons thank you very much for your support we really appreciate it um if you want to support our show, there's a few ways you can do it. Most of them are free. Um, if you want to like, comment, subscribe to our stuff on YouTube, that helps people find us. Same with leaving a review on any of the podcast apps. We are on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Google, everything. We're there. Um, 
yeah i listen on google podcasts that's cool i listened on audible the other day of all things um, what it's yeah. on audible well audible does podcasts and so mm-hmm. we're in that too yeah we're everywhere it's pretty cool oh, that's <laughs> sick that's so cool. and <clears throat> if you happen to find a place that we're not on let oh, please us know in the discord <laughs> yeah we'll put it there <laughs> right yeah please tell us because we can get there um but yeah, if uh, you're somebody who uses Twitch a lot, we do have some emotes that you can unlock. Some are free just by clicking the follow button. Some are um, behind a little bit of a paywall. If you want to subscribe, there's a couple uh, premium emotes. But yeah, we also have some pretty cool merch that I uh, didn't load the picture for. Sorry, but they're on our website. Um, born to be wild hs.com. If you go to our website, we have links to all of our YouTube stuff, including lore episodes, parody songs, um, all of our past episodes are all cataloged there. If you missed one and you want to catch up on one, the lore episodes make great um, content. If you want to know the stories behind the cards, they're super cool. Also, if you're interested in interacting with any of us personally, we do have a discord channel. Um, it's a really cool online community that we made friends all across the whole world. Like I always say it, but like it's true. I mean, all the, over the place, uh, and it's just really neat to interact with everybody. So, um, yeah. This week, for example, Goliath the Dwarf is visiting uh, Portland and saw Blockbuster, which is so cool. Uh, yeah, I'm sad That's that so like he cool. chose to visit Portland like after I moved from Portland because like I totally would have met up with him, but that's all right. Apparently, he's like in San Francisco now, so like still it was four like to a, five hours away. <laughs> um. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, check it out. Discord is a really fun place. We share deck lists. We post Hearthstone news. Um, we uh, share funny usernames. All that the whole deal. Um, there's also a Marvel Snap section for those of you who are Snap enjoyers. Um, and uh, we may be doing some giveaways there as well. We we um, got some codes from Papa Blizz. So we uh, yeah, thank you. Courtesy of Hearthstone, we have um, ten bundles to give away so that's super exciting um and uh yeah hang in there for for a chance to learn how to do that thing but the part you've all been waiting for is this week's dedication okay so this this week um we always look to the funny username channel and thank god for schmoopy daddy who uh was streaming yesterday mobile schmoopy daddy and schmoopy mommy streaming at the same time mobile uh it was really fun to watch and um it's good uh, yeah it was it was good fun and uh, I'm bummed I missed that. That's awesome. It was great. Oh, they're such fun people. And um, mm-hmm. Shwoopy Daddy posted a bunch of new usernames. And so this week's episode is dedicated to Pleather Bear, Alpaca. Um, I can't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oddballs, Mr. Baboomba, <laughs> mm-hmm. Grim Squeaker. Ooh. Daddy Coon. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, this dedicated this episode is dedicated to you, Pee Pee Mama. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? That was mine. <laughs> nice. uh, let me go through and Oh jeez. So see. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um anyways, yeah. So we usually start at the show kind of just catching up as friends do. Uh like to chat about how our week was and um I have, I think, worked more hours this week than I have in a long, long time. And so I'm quite sleep deprived and, and, uh, and everything, but I'm here. I did get to open packs and that was really exciting. I packed a couple of really cool legendaries. I did get Rooney. So I'm really, um, excited to play with that. I also got all the new hero. So it's like, I feel blessed to be able to play with a couple of the crazy new cards. I'm excited to, to check those out. Um, trying to think what else I did besides work and, uh, work, and, work. and not to work, work, but, um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm happy to have a long weekend. Labor day is coming up on Monday. It's my birthday. I'm turning older than I already am. If that was even possible at this point, there's no age. It's just old. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. I actually probably should have <laughs> grown my mustache back now that I'm, now that I'm officially old. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited to be here and um, we have a really cool show tonight. There's a ton of news, a lot, really a lot going on. Um, and so I don't want to waste too much time on on my uneventful week. But I do want to talk to Hydralisk, who just got back from vacation and uh, had a couple of really cool pictures to share. So welcome back, man. How was it? Dude, it was 
Super fun. So we drove, like I mentioned before, very, very far. It was like 2,800 kilometers did was you, the entire trip. Do you drive in this green Lego car? Because that's pretty rad. I did not. <laughs> but if, if, if you are watching the video stream, that is the coolest Lego car ever. So we went to West Edmonton Mall and we went to the Lego store. And holy crap. Like, it was so funny. My wife and son were there with me. And they're like, come on, Dad. I'm like... I have to send sheep and Nate pictures. Like, I'm so glad like you there's, did. <laughs> there's, there, there was so much more too, right? Like it was, there was so much happening there. And this car was like one of the coolest things. And um, like the drive there was super cool. It was very long, but I mean, it's through the, the Rocky Mountains in Canada. It was really really nice and then um nate if you want to throw up um there's a super cool picture of uh, a mountain with some water there i don't know if you have that one but this is alberta and it's amazing it is so so nice um this is on our way back going through like the um i don't remember which it's like in banff national park basically but it was so cool if you look at that water you will not see like bluer fresh water than this anywhere else challenge and accepted challenge ex yeah please show me because it's it's so cool uh we had an absolutely great time and one of my favorite things about this trip was just spending a lot of time with my friends and my family um we were i i made a twitter post before i left about hey what steam decks what steam deck games you know can i download you know play you know some steam games on the road well, you're Didn't driving. matter. <laughs> no, I mean, like, no. Well, if you if you read if you read the post, it was like you know want to let like, you know take like stop for the night or whatever. It didn't matter because I actually didn't even touch it. Wow. I didn't play. I didn't play on my Steam Deck the entire time. Uh, it was a lot of spending time with friends and family. It was really cool. If I did get some spare time, I did some Hearthstone quests. Um, I played a lot of Rumble which is pretty cool. Um, I know the whole world doesn't have Warcraft rumble yet, but holy crap, it's actually super fun. And I don't want to like make you guys uh, be a little jelly, but like sort of addicted. <laughs> it's, it's super fun. It's, it's basically a tower defense game with all your favorite um, Hearthstone and Warcraft game. Is the art good? Oh. I heard oh, yeah. it like it. It doesn't look like it's I, I'm anxious to see it because I haven't really Well, no, like, you know, how you are a little annoyed <laughs> that Arthas looks like a Warcraft three character. It looks like that. So don't get too excited. Yeah, it like that's basically what the art looks like in like in general. Is it more cartoony, though? Like, is it like a um, clash, no, like clash of clans or clash royale or one of those? Like, I don't it, I haven't it, played it. So it's basically clash royale with a lot more depth um if you've played clash royale it's like that with like many many more layers it's super fun i like it anyway you don't have to spend money on it if you don't want to just like hearthstone <laughs> ha, that's funny <laughs> right um though there is once you get to a certain point there's this like 20 dollar thing that they let you buy um which lets you get more xp and whatnot so basically you're it's a twenty dollar game, but it was a good. It was a good two weeks. We drove for a very long time. We saw a lot of family. It was amazing. I played Hearthstone, which, by the way, oh my god, I've been missing out on this forever. Playing Hearthstone on your phone is actually fun. <laughs> Dude, <right? laughs> I bought a phone specifically for this trip so I could play Hearthstone, and I was sitting in my parents' basement, like a thousand miles from here and i was playing hearthstone and it was really really cool and i was playing standard decks that people posted and i was just doing my quest and having a great time and it it was cool i liked it so thank you um me i guess for having a phone that works on like for the first time playing hearthstone in like five years so yeah that, that's the thing nice well, my, yeah, my welcome weeks. back. Welcome back. I, I don't, the time has been so goofy in my head. I thought like, I thought you were out one more week for some reason. Well, we weren't sure when we were going to get back. There was a potential of us getting back this weekend. But what we thought was since we've got the long weekend, like Monday off coming up, 
maybe we just come back a little bit early and we have some time to relax. So that's what we did. So we're just chilling now. Very cool. Is is Canada still on fire or did they get that under control? Oh my gosh. I didn't even talk about that. Yeah, so no, Canada <laughs> is on fire. Still, uh, we, oh, that oh was no. pretty scary last time. Yeah. Yeah, we drove through like the main area, actually, and you can barely see in front of your vehicle as you're going through the Okanagan area, like Vernon, Kelowna in British Columbia. And it's it's pretty bad, to be honest, but uh, we made it through and we've had some friends and family that have been evacuated from their homes. It's it's pretty scary, um, but uh, we were we were just, you know, bystanders and travelers, so we were fine. Well, I'm glad that you're not on fire. That would be bad. Um, but very happy to have you back. And Electric Sheep City, welcome back. How are you? Meowdy, that's me, the sheep. I'm doing great. Uh, like I kind of vaguely mentioned earlier, uh, finished last week for work at this job. So I had a, like a, a huge push. Work was work, work. Um, but... Or, now get to do like the exciting stuff of starting a new gig on Tuesday, cool. which is very exciting. Um, in Hearthstone, I opened a ton of um, the Caverns of Time packs, and so far I have three total signatures. Two of those were from bundles. So they're kind of rare, I guess. Yeah, the the drop rate for them is super low. And so you got one outside of a bundle, right? Correct. Yeah. So I got Tyrion in patches from bundles. I got Yasharge, Rage Unbound. Look at this blue meatball. Oh, it's, yeah. That's, He's awesome. Yeah, signature patches. It might be my favorite signature card. I, I haven't seen the other. I haven't seen all the old. I haven't seen the new older ones yet, though. But that is awesome. My only complaint about the signature stuff is like, because you know, the golden cards animate and the diamond cards like really animate. Signature cards don't. They, they don't do anything. Like I wish that if, if they animated like the golden ones, they'd be like the bee's knees, but, but still, I mean, they're pretty rad. The art is really good. And first world problem, whenever you're putting a deck together, if you have uh, patches as part of it and you have diamond patches, it defaults to diamond patches instead of signature patches. Signature. Oh, how funny. Yep. Wait, yep. I want to share this with you guys. We got a comment on one of our YouTube videos this past week, and I wanted to share because it's about these signature cards. Hold on. Let me see here. It, um, I thought it was, it was interesting to get a different take on them. So hold on. Ooh. It, it was somebody who does not like them. And uh, sorry, I'm just pulling up the comment real quick because I'm really tired and I can't find it i really tired and i can't find it i'm sheep yo let's go don't set me up for these jokes <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where i say that i'll edit it and post and then never do <laughs> so when you're listening to this on the podcast apps hello <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right okay okay here it is here it is um ah uh, that's yeah. Nate. Nate, 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 Nate. <laughs> okay, okay. It's from Bloody Nightmare 1991, five days ago. It says, All the signatures from this set are hideous. Was so excited to hear about the old god signatures, and they're all unmoving stone tablets. Drop the ball on every single one, in my opinion. That's that's a hot take. That's and, a very hot take. And you know what? I totally get it. Like I like the signature ones and I think that from an art appreciation aspect, like I dig what they were going for because they're like carved stone tablets of the old gods and it has like an old God feel, it's about like a Lovecraft feel to it. And I yeah. like that, but I would take a diamond one over a signature one any day because the animation is so cool and like yeah. they're 3d and they animate and, and all of that. And so I, I, I kind of don't necessarily disagree with that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting hot take. What do you think? Well, yeah. so here's a e example. Uh, sh we posted or I posted earlier about how I would never DE a signature and Shmoopy Daddy had pointed out that um, he had disenchanted uh, a signature because they had the diamond version. And in my head, I was like, I don't I don't want to do that. Right. Like I have 
all these cool things and I don't want to do it. And I first responded saying like, well, I'm a collector. I don't, I would never do that. And then I was going through my collection. I'm like, Romath, I have a diamond Romath and a signature one. The signature one sucks. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> The oh. diamond one's way cooler. Yeah, and I was like, math is awesome. I'm like, well, I could disenchant the other one. And I could have all this mm-hmm. dust. I'm like, Sh- Shoopy Daddy's kind of right, like on on this one. So I didn't. I actually never pulled the trigger because I'm, like I said, a collector and I want to have all the things. But I understand mm-hmm. the sentiment on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. they scratch different itches. Like the um, signature cards. Yeah, they they don't move like the diamond cards do. Um, but it's kind of like a, a different thing that you're chasing. Like I, the diamond cards are rarer, um, but they're easier to acquire whenever, if that makes sense. Like the diamond cards, you can typically just like use the credit card and boom, you got it. Um, whereas that's, that's my the style. signature cards. <laughs> yeah. That's my style. It's now so, or never. The signature cards, though, you gotta like hunt for them. So I, I, I think it scratches kind of different itches, yeah. and so, some of them, like Romath, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use the diamond version because I prefer it. Things like patches, honestly, kind of depends. Sometimes I'll use one, sometimes the other. Right now, that that meatball's like going from the cannon onto the the board all the time because he's like brand new in the meatball, but like the diamond also is is kicking rad. So yeah. I think it's just like different art styles and liking one more than the other it's not necessarily a bad thing no the take, i mean the take is a, a fair one though like that the, for how rare they are and how like you have to try and like hunt for them and then all it is is like a static image like that that's a legitimately valid critique it is a, a yeah. first world problems right it's a it's like insert whale noises here so i get it i get it mm-hmm the tricky know, piece really is like, like they're just so expensive. You just have to throw like, money at it. You keep throwing really money like until the like first. the art is really good. The yeah, art, the I, art is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Azalea? Um. So at least for the Titan set, um, I really, really liked most of the signature cards that I've seen. Um, the ones that I, the ones that I have versus oh, I've Odin Prime Designate. Oh. Um, top and that's tier. really cool. It's a top tier one. He's like. He's essentially like holding matter in his hands, like above him. It's really cool. Um, and then I have, um, I got Sif. Oh, yeah. so like, it's so good. It's one so of like, the best. It's the only I one think, I have. I think honestly, this is the, I think this is probably the best signature card they've ever made mm-hmm. is Sif. Um, and then even dating back, even going back to like festival, like I have Inza as I like, I have Inza and I thought Inza looks really rad. Like Mukla's, um, like Mr. Mukla's signature card is absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Like they did a good job. Like they've been getting yeah. better. I think like these newer ones are better than yeah. when they first did them and they were just, they were all like that gray blue color and they were still kind of cool, but, yeah. but these like really kicked it up a notch. The stained glass is like amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's really cool. I, I wish they had done like the whole set or at least more than just uh Sif and Raden, I think was the other one that oh, was really? stained glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like none of the rest of them are. Yeah. Um and having like a, a package kind of like they did with the old gods um and the League of Explorers in, in this set. Um and kind of Lothab and Patches are kind of like Mike and Sully, Mike Wazowski and Sully from uh Monsters yeah, Inc. That's really cool. I do like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I like what they're kind of going towards, which is doing these like packages of the like yeah. thematically both in the art and in the, the like tied together in some way um, mm-hmm. canonically as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. By the way, I pulled up the old like Lord of the Rings cartoon art to like check it out. And you're so mm-hmm. right. It's Dude, like, right, though. <laughs> it, it's like it's pretty close. It's good. Um, so your face. Mm-hmm. Oh, anyways, what were we talking about again? How, I think this was, how was your week? <laughs> yeah. And I pulled signatures and I could talk about them all day, but we have more to talk about, including Azalea. How was your week, friend? Uh, my week? Uh, I heard it's foosball yeah, it was, season. It's pretty good. I, I've done a couple of fantasy football. I did one <laughs> fantasy football draft. Um, And I'm currently, 
uh, in the middle of a fantasy football draft. I'm just waiting to hear the da 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 in my in my <laughs> head to tell me when I pick. Um, but I I've been very focused on the podcast. Um, so like I'm yes. just like. Like this draft is probably going to be pretty bad because of it, but I'm doing my best. Um, but yeah, I am. I, I mean, really, like it's it's Team Hearth League season. We're three weeks in. I I'm enjoying the set. I'm enjoying ladder. I am doing miserable in my matches, unfortunately. Um, RNG is not very good on my side, uh, including a Prison of Yoxer on. Oof! Uh, absolutely Uh-oh. massacring my hopes and dreams last night. Um, I so my so I had my opponent had hidden meaning up as a hunter. Um, I we had a boards. Um, we both had boards. I played a Nacronos as hunter, or I played a Nacronos as as paladin to uh, hopefully you know uh, make it so they couldn't leave. So that they had no choice but to you know have to clear for my Nacronos or lose. Uh, well, they played Prison of Yogsaron, which proceeded to play the to gain five armor, draw a card, and play solid alibi. Wow, and I lost. So I and um, <laughs> I lost from there. Well, but, the, the original Yog was called Yog Saran Hopes End yeah. for a reason. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right? super. Ha- so I, but on the other hand, um, you know, with Twist starting today, uh, I, I have been playing Twist, um, when I had free time, pretty much from uh when I was done with work until now in between eating, I've been playing enough. I playing a lot of Twist, and it's a lot of fun messing around with some very Messing around with some fun stuff, with some older fun decks. Nice. nice. Yeah. I'm anxious to hear about the the new decks, like, well, and the new old decks and stuff, too. Um, yeah. It'll be cool. Well, we'll have to talk about it when everyone's playing and stuff, but uh, you can do it live, Hydra, or I can just press the button, but here we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> Welcome to the news. The news is so good. I'm well, we, so happy to have a rock star on our on our team here. Right. <laughs> well, speaking of twist and questions that I've had this whole time is people are were always wondering, like, hey, what am I gonna get for my star bonus? And it's something I mean, the game, Hearthstone is a game, and it is supposed to be fun, but sometimes we worry about these tiny little things like the star bonus, which guilty is charged charged um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we were told by Celestalon that uh, in preparation for twists full launch on september 1st we've set everyone's twist mmr to the highest of their beta twist wild or standard mmrs but we are capping everyone at 9x Oof. right so yeah um which was funny because i did have 10 originally the last time <clears throat> when we had four hours to make it right remember that time mm-hmm. <laughs> um so i did get the 9x but there were reports of people getting the 10x and so we did get a tweet later on stating that if you um had had a higher mmr and achieved legend the last time you were going to get a 10x but we were not told this ahead of time we got this afterwards Oh. And it, it was also in a reply to Ulticon. Um, I actually just pulled that up here and we'll drop it to Nate. Um, but uh, it was in a reply to Ulticon. So like I also ended up with a, a 10x multiplier in uh, Twist because I hit Legend before. Um, so basically what it says is what really happened is that anyone who got Legend in July in Twist will have 10x now. But the changes to MMR should really help Q time. Um, so if any, uh, if anyone has super long queues, hit up Pat. He sa- he says so in the uh, in in that that tweet. So that's that's not a <laughs> report to the complaint desk. That is uh, <laughs> actively solicited uh, for. Um, feedback uh there if you run into q issues which i haven't so far that is the best reply tweet i've ever seen it's so great that is great hat, hat is amazing it's a so oh, ultagon's yeah. tweet that is not a that's that's not a 9x guys and hat says you're extra special so i asked them to give you an extra star <laughs> yeah no that's that's awesome <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah. And reading oh, between God. the lines, I don't think that this was intended. Um, I think what, what was intended was what Celestalon initially tweeted a few days ago that everyone would go be capped out at 9x. Um, but some of us hit 10x in, in July and are reaping the benefit of that thing. Yeah, no, it, it, it's super cool. And speaking of hat, I forgot. I was going to share a little story. I was chatting with him last night. <laughs> chatting like, with hat. Chat, chat with hat would be a good podcast. Just saying. That would be amazing, by the way. Yeah. Well, he's not. <laughs> yeah, he's not allowed anymore. And that's funny. Uh, but um, so we're just talking, right? And then he types to me like GLHF. I'm like, why, why did he say that? And I look at my screen. I'm like, oh crap. Uh-huh. I'm actually like I'm queuing against hat in on like 10 X wild ladder. Like last night, I'm like, all right, all right. Okay. Reversing hat. Let's like dust off the cobwebs. Let's go. Absolutely destroyed me. It is <laughs> not even, not even close. I, I mean, it was turn nine that, that he killed me, but he was playing like a, a Thaddeus warlock. If you know the combo, you know, the combo, he destroyed my deck. He destroyed my hand. He destroyed me. It was, it's kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Oh yeah, I faced that deck. You don't, you know the one? <laughs> yeah, they play. You they play Thaddeus. They play um card that makes spells cost less. Maybe it's just shadow spells, and then they like treachery a, a fell reaver, and they pretend, and they yeah. also treachery a howl fiend. To howl you. fiend. Howl fiend. So they remove. Yeah. So they remove your deck and they remove your hand. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It, Nate, remember when we had Jack? Oh, yep. Yeah, I remember that deck. Yeah. It's 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 that deck, but it's got Thaddeus in it. And um Yeah. I uh Wow. I played against it once. The person did not the per my opponent failed to howl fiend me. Like they didn't have they must not have had the treachery to Halfiend or the AP either that or the APM. And uh I played Flurgle Tox and they conceded. Ah, nice. 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 So, that was a that was uh a fun That's experience a for me, I guess. That's definitely when. It, yeah, it was just super funny because we happened to be chatting at the exact same time where mm-hmm. we queued into each other. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like that what are the chances, right? That's funny. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was a blast. Never tell me the odds. I'm trying to think of like the <laughs> last. I'm trying to think of like the last person I knew that I All queued. right. Oh yeah, I found. Well, there were also some unintended buffed cards in Whoopsies. Wild and. Some are actually sticking around. That's so. Uh, Noam Sam, the community manager, uh, jumped into the um, forums and let us know about that thing. So uh, in patch twenty seven point two, um, you know, had like tons of balance changes, battleground season five, all those things. Um, unfortunately, with the patch that large, few things slipped through the cracks. So. Um, some things that were accidentally buffed were reverted, like uh, Dragon's Breath, Swipe, and Glaive Zuka. Some things are sticking around. Those are the buffs to Timberwolf, Genu Water Speaker, and Firelands Portal. Timberwolf has a bigger butt. The patch right. also included a couple of signature cards <laughs> that they weren't expecting to reveal yet. What? Um, those were Nazos <laughs> First Mate and Acolyte of Pain. And so, like, that those are being swept back back away. Um, they may return in a future update. I mean, of th- course they, they're going they to. Do you mean the acolyte of pain having together, four health? Like no, like, the the signature. I know what you're uh, saying. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't hear. I muted the wrong thing. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. They pulled back the signature card. Yeah. So, yeah, so they, they pulled back the signature cards <clears throat> for Nazos First Mate and Acolyte of Pain. Um, oh. If you pulled those up in the client, it said that they were from an event. So I imagine that's just a future event that we haven't seen yet. Um, mm-hmm. Later, we'll see that Caverns of Time is going to be in Twist for the next um, at least three Twist seasons. So they've got plenty of time to have additional um events and stuff like that for it to come around for yeah it'll be back i mean there's there's no way they're gonna like like not have the card right especially after like they've already done the art assets and stuff like of course but it's just a matter of when and and how yeah buddy so they're they're fixing the things that they didn't mean to some of them some of them they're keeping around and we got 
even more buffs than we realized with with the last patch, which there were already a ton of buffs, 113 of them to be precise. <laughs> so these are this is just the icing on the cake. So we Crazy. take those. Yeah, definitely. Um, Caverns of Time also has come out. So Caverns of Time came out yesterday from recording. That is um, August 31st. Um, and it's out. You can uh, open those packs. You can, of course, buy those packs, be they with gold or real monies. <laughs> the credit card, <laughs> the most powerful card in Hearthstone. The most powerful card, yeah. So do they, and then are there golden packs available? I, I opened mine, but I didn't. I didn't check the golden stuff yet. Yeah, so there are some golden things. Um, you can buy uh, golden oh God, packs. There's, there's bundles the... galore, aren't there? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, before we get into the bundles, you can, in fact, get like the um, golden packs for the same price that you can get non-golden pa- or not non-golden packs i wish uh, ah, that'd, be, that'd be cool <laughs> right uh but other sets golden packs so like i can't recall what it gold, is 400 yeah. gold per pack yeah exactly i can't recall what it is in like money's money's but like that's because i used 400 like that's where all my gold goes is to golden packs yeah nice nice <laughs> but in the shop we've also got like a new Maev rogue skin, which looks really cool. It's a trapper Maev. Um, Battlegrounds is doing kind of like a. Um, it seems to. I, I think the trapper Maev is actually a Battlegrounds hero portrait, but there there are a couple of them that they either have or are going to release into actual constructed Hearthstone too. There's a Rakara one that we haven't gotten yet. Um, but Trapper Maev is the one that's here now and is also in Battlegrounds, which is pretty cool. Nice. There are tons of bundles. So before Caverns of Time even came out, we had uh, a lot of these. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through these pretty quick. There's a Golden Standard bundle, which you get two Golden Legendaries and 10 Golden Standard packs for 50 bucks or 5k runestones. A mini Golden Standard bundle, one Legendary uh, golden, uh, five golden standard packs for 2,500 rune stones or 25 bucks USD, a uh, regular standard bundle, two non-golden legendaries and 20 non-golden standard packs for 2k rune stones. That or one's 20 a good bucks. deal. Yeah. We also have some wild love here too. So there's the wa- golden wild bundle. Uh, that's three random golden legendaries and 20 golden wild packs for 70 bucks and a just regular wild bundle which is two legendaries and 25 packs for 20 bucks or 2k runestones which is also a really good deal yeah cool cool (laughs) gonna have to catch my breath on that one (laughs) really the problem with like buying the bundles that have random wild legendaries is you're really rolling the dice on the wild legendaries to be honest but the, the cheaper ones like the 20 dollar bundle is a very good yeah deal. when you're paying like, like a dollar a pack it's really good less than with this like right like two legendaries 25 packs for wild. that's something that if i didn't have the all the wild cards i would be interested in yep 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 great value Sheep, um, tell us about the these um, caverns bundles that they have. Yeah, these caverns bundles are even more exciting. So there's the early wonders bundle. That is a random legendary, 20 caverns of time packs, 20 TGT packs, and 20 GVG packs for $40 or 4,000 runestones. That's a killer deal. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. There's also the wonders of the Kraken bundle, which is one random... Le- Signature Legendary, 20 Caverns of Time packs, 20 Mean Streets packs, and 20 Whispers of the Old Gods packs, also for 40 USD or 4,000 runestones. Just a PSA, I remember last time this happened, and then I know, I think Ray or Blister Guy mentioned it as well. Do we know which packs or which sets the signature cards from these bundles are from? Because last time it was like there was one from the new set and one from the last set and, and everyone was surprised when they opened the old one because nobody reads the fine print. Um, I believe so this time we know that it's from These are all caverns. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. All caverns. So if you want two signature caverns of time uh, cards, these are your packs to buy. Dude, or your bundles 60, to buy. 60 packs for 40 bucks is really good. 
Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the le- with a signature card thrown in, signature legendary, like holy moly. Uh, those are good deals. Those are good deals. Yeah. Yeah. For for me, like my only issue with this is I don't need the packs from the other sets, right? So if I were to buy these, I'm basically buying them for the signatures. I would be spending the forty dollars per bundle just to get the signatures because I I own all like all the other things. So you have to be careful on what you're doing mm-hmm. when it comes to this. You got to weigh those uh, pros and cons. Yeah. On the other hand, to be devil's advocate, um, what we saw with the first beta uh, season of Twist, there were some bans or not really nerfs, but bans, and we got full dust refund. So if if you're a dust speculator, if you you have the excess capital to engage in that practice, um, then these might, might enable you to hold on to some cards that could be banned from twist and get a full dust refund soon yeah i mean just the dollar per pack ratio is good like i mean if you don't need them but if you're like hoarding dust or whatever like it's good dust value it was Absolutely. it was a little sad you know it's interesting so opening caverns of time packs like and getting cards that you already have but they still show as new i thought that was kind of interesting yeah it, it is really weird because like I Even guess, though duplicate protection is there, um, they're in separate buckets in the collection. Like ones in, ca- you know, the caverns. Ones are in the caverns like section in your collection, and the others are in whichever you know respective um, actual expansion they're from. So, um, for example, um, I built a deck that Aramorn gave us right before the. Um, the show and was playing around with some death rattle rogue uh death rattle jade rogue which was really fun and um i had one dark iron skulker in gold from black rock mountain i had just like made it at some point i guess i don't remember doing that but it's been a while and i had one golden dark iron skulker from caverns of time so I, i'm able to put both of them in my deck but even in the like deck like screen where you're seeing all of the cards they're actually on two separate lines which is really interesting yeah so speaking of gold cards there are some golden caverns of time bundles in the shop as well so the first is called caverns of time bundle rank one of two this is 50 usd or 5,000 rune stones and you get 10 golden caverns of time packs and a diamond Morazond Thief of Time. Oh my god, the diamond Morazond is like the it's best so thing cool. I've yeah, ever that, seen. That looks really cool. I wish I had the animation up on the screen, but like it flies in, the wings flap, it's 3D, like the whole thing is just That's really so off the charts. It's so cool. If I show us your face. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the podcast. Azalea is Kari. Azalea Kari V2. <laughs> yeah, I'm normally a sucker for this stuff, but I mean, as you know, in the last few months, I'm not for me, not doing it. I am maximizing my collection, so I've sort of dipped out of the shinies at this point. I still craft them, trust me. If I have the mm-hmm. opportunity to make something golden, I will. Um, this one, not for me. Absolutely understandable. Well, if you are really interested in the shinies and you picked up rank one, you then will have the opportunity to purchase Caverns of Time bundle rank two of two, which is 12 golden caverns packs and a random signature legendary from Caverns of Time. So more shinies, also 50 bucks or uh, 5,000 rune stones. So 50 bucks USD, not Canadian. It's probably like 200 Canadian. Oh, yeah. 2000 sorry oh, oh. <laughs> the exchange rate was even worse than i thought <laughs> it's when it's 50 i think it's 64.99 for the record oh <laughs> 62.99 something like that well if if you were more interested in beefing up your collection than in beefing up your shininess we also have battle ready decks uh, available in the shop as well um, so there are a couple of bundles of them, um, as well as you can actually buy them individually. Um, so the bundles, you've got um, 
One that's Disco Warlock, Reno Priest, and Pirate Rogue for 40 bucks USD or 4,000 runestones. And then the other option is Cthulhu Warrior, Jade Shaman, and Jade Rogue for the same price point, 4,000 runestones or 40 USD. When the when we had the dev interview, they said that they really had like these these were fine tuned because I know that when we you know when they have sold like pre built decks in the past, they were like yeah they were okay yeah. they're competitive but not like like crazy good. But they said these were like pretty tuned. Have you checked them out yet? I no. have not, but I also you know did not really need to purchase them because I already had you know these cards the so cards. that's why i hadn't looked for it are the yeah. deck are, are, i've been working too much are the deck recipes in the game for these i imagine they've got to be like Probably. available um, to the I'm public somewhere look, right i'm gonna look and see if i if they like display <clears throat> the deck list like if i click on it yeah i believe oh, they, they do. do yeah and martian yeah, but, actually oh my did gosh, like a review not in mana order oh that's so that's annoying <laughs> so annoying <laughs> Okay, Weird. so Reno Priest is a Reno is Reno Dragon. Oh yeah. Um, but you don't get like you obviously don't get you get Murazond in it and you get Sora Dormy. So you get two of the new Caverns of Time's legendaries out of it. Um anything else is kind of new. Museum no, Museum Curator is not new. No, everything else is like quite like it's quite good. The future emissary is the other card you get. Um I, I like I'll look at the Disco Warlock and see how that looks. Um, I think I faced this list because they were running Chogall in it. Oh wow! Um, and that absolutely destroyed me <laughs> because they just because they had a because they just because once Tiny Knight of Evil gets pretty big, I, I couldn't clear it, and mm -hmm. they made a big turn. They played Chogall and they killed me with Tiny Knight of Evil. But yeah, um, I, I think like you can get cards like. A lot of these cards are stuff I have, so like I don't really need it. I can just I just like emptied. I essentially emptied my dustbin and just crafted. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Martian yeah. has a thing. Yeah, so okay. Martian has a review of the battle ready decks. Um, he says that he would never get the discard warlock or pirate rogue. Reno priest isn't that bad, but does not have Raza. Um, Jay Druid has most of the stuff you'll need for that deck, so that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, Jade, Sh yeah. Speaking of Jade Shaman, is for people who like winning, and Cthulhu Warrior <laughs> is for value and poggers. <laughs> oh, that's rad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this for for somebody who has the like, if you have most of the collection, um, buying packs for this isn't necessarily the best idea. You can get it, you know, your first bundle, fill it out. Like speaking for myself, if I'm gonna chase all the legendaries and whatnot, um, pity timers are you know it's like every twenty packs. Hopefully, yeah. you're gonna get a legendary. And I quickly realized that well, if I'm missing a couple, like I I I, I got forty packs, I got three legendaries in forty packs. That was pretty cool, right? Um, purchasing more packs for me personally isn't the best i can probably scavenge the dust that i have and get the rest uh mm -hmm. it, it all depends on your collection when you, when you're fully complete crafting may be a better idea and if you're not um martian's review of the these seems to be pretty pretty good um you can also pick these up individually so four of them that's the jade druid reno priest discard warlock and Cthulhu warrior are 3200 gold whereas the pirate warrior and shaman are 1000 gold so the you, you get a, a discount on those two and it sounds like the shaman is a uh, for people who like winning. So that <laughs> seems like a pretty good deal. <laughs> and you get, I got black pot, which is tri class, right? Yep. yep. You get, so, um, yeah. I would do that. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. I haven't heard, um, golems are girls, best friends so many times, uh, since today I played <laughs> so many games with, with that card and against that card that it was awesome. So uh, good, fl it. good flashback love to hear it well if you're winning you love to hear it and uh, i guess uh, <laughs> you might not well, be loving the, to hear it today the, the problem <laughs> is is zeddy tweeted out um 
a uh, Jade Rogue deck, and so everyone's playing it. And um, there are goes. there are a lot of mirror matches. I've been playing the deck, and it seems like I would like to pull up my stats, but it seems like every mm. okay. So I played twenty games today, and thirty five percent of them were against Jade Rogue. Wow. Um, yeah. Thirty five percent. However, net decked Aramorn, who net net decked Zeddy, but changed it ever so slightly <laughs> to include the Raptors. The, the Raptors. And I, I really love the Raptors. Th- th- those are awesome. Yes. Raptors so, OP. So I, I learned. It's called actually, Aramorn in my, my collection. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah my, well, mine's just called Zeddy question um, mark. But yeah, the, the Raptors are far superior i learned that while i was playing because i lost to somebody who was using oh. the raptors and i was like hmm, that is raptors way better is- that that is way better than what i'm doing what what do i need to delete <laughs> um, yeah the raptors are super versatile because of course you can hit the jades that's like the classic but with the anubarak buff um i actually er- earlier today because uh, i was playing my aramorn deck and uh the um one of the uh, my Anubarak had you know died, and so it was the um, Nerubian dude, the four four that now has the death rattle to resummon Anubarak. So I copied that death rattle with the Raptor, and um, since it had that, then you know they they used um, Frost Nova and Doom Guard, and destroyed my board. And oh, would you look at that? I then had. An Anubarak and a four four, because <laughs> because the that four four had like subsequently died at at that point. So thus, Anubarak was on board whenever the Frost Nova Doom Guard yeah. went into effect. So so far, like the the Nizoth, it seems so cool to run the Nizoth. You almost never play it to be <laughs> like the game is over. It's very aggressive because it's like a pirate rogue with jades, right? Yeah. It's super good. Um, you almost never play the Nizoth. I played it one time so far, like in a mirror match. It's the only time it's come in handy. You you're you either won or lost by the time you're playing the Nizoth, but I think it's a it's a cool addition because how often do you get to play that card anymore? Right? Ben, ben from work. <laughs> yeah. I, the way that I look at Nizoth is it's kind of a break glass in case of emergency. Like Odds are you've either yeah. won or lost by then, but like it's if like you're Yogg. losing, then <laughs> play Nizoth and maybe you won't be losing well, anymore. Well, think about how many. So like if if you're a, a noob, a, a noob Narak dies and then you get the, <laughs> so you get the 8-4, the 4-4, the 8-4, the 4-4, like do those, you, you just get a whole board of those if they've died over and over again? Whenever I've played Nizoth, it was whenever I did not have a noob Narak in my death rattle pool. Um, probably because whenever I, you know, have the chance to actually play a new Barak, I, I typically win because it's just like an endless value engine. Not in the mirror. Oh, my gosh. Because you just kill each <laughs> other's a new Barak. Oh, it's so brutal. <laughs> so brutals. Brutals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just kill each other's over and over again. It's so funny because thank you, Zeddy. We're all playing it. But it's so fun. Um, it Nate, is a really fun deck. Nate, have you tried? Uh, and you were at work all day, weren't you? Oh my gosh, I got home like late, and I opened packs, and then I went to bed, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I woke up at the crack of dawn and went back to work. Um, no, can somebody send me the deck recipe or the the? Oh yeah, the code? oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Steeper uh, Hydra can. I don't have it. Yeah, if you I'll, I'll in, send you Aramord's version because because that is that is the best. Version. If you have a picture, that's that's great too because we can put it on the screen. You have to figure out which oh, pirate you that. want to eliminate, basically. But yeah, hmm. Small Time Buccaneer is back, by the way. Yeah, Small Time Buck is back. It's Very so good. Yes. Three, two for one. I'm still excited. We got to interview the devs a couple weeks ago. Well, that was red. So cool. And now like yeah. the thing is is now out that we yet to talk about. So that's so cool. Nice. Yeah, this is cool. I don't have a new barack, so I don't know if I have dust to swing for it. No, I have the dust for it, but I'm not sure if I want to swing the dust for it. If you are playing twist, then I I recommend it. Um okay. if you're not, 
Um, no, I, like, I'm playing Twist. Actively. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then, oh, then for I will sure. actively play Twist. Okay. It's I, a good I deck. Highly it's probably it. it's really good. It's mm-hmm. probably in like the top two tiers. Do you all want to see? Do right you all want to see what I made to uh to ho- to maybe maybe counter Disco Warlock? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. send it away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got. A, I made a control shaman list. All right, I'm here for it. <clears throat> it runs pretty much all the clears um, that I could think of. It's this, and I will post elemental code. destruction. Nope, I don't have that card, but you can play it if you want. Only kidding. Please don't. <laughs> I will say with Pebble with Pebbly Page, uh, it would actually not be the worst idea. Oh, I, I I actually because... discovered uh, Alakira while playing as Rogue. It was so funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's I, funny. I discovered it with uh, I think Splash Burglar. Mm-hmm. I became Alakira. Yeah, it was perfect. So like this is a homebrew. So if people, so like I'm sure people can mess around with it, um, it for sure. I wanted so I think it's fun because of i think it's fun because like you can have the whole like all cure the winds of the winds of time with a doom hammer and you're just swinging for eight every turn it's right really neat. you can like, also discover doom hammer by the way i got doom hammer as rogue and it was hilarious oh that's so, funny yeah lotus what, what, agents seems cool hold up so the alakir hero power and the doom hammer like stack to give you mega wind fury no <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. No. You oh, just, wait, because it adds no. the. You just do eight because you're swinging for four per for each. Okay. Yep. That made that makes sense. I was like, wait. <laughs> oh, I forgot. No. I, yeah. I don't. I don't think you can stack it. Yeah. No. Cool, I, cool. I I I've played it with it and uh, yeah, it's really neat. <laughs> I have done eight a, a bunch of times. But yeah. Oh, that's awesome. The hero power. So I I love I love the new Alakir card. Um, makes me happy uh, as a as a Windlord fan of swatting insects. I haven't heard the voice lines yet, but they said that there was lots nice of insect swatting lines. insects. I actually have not got to play the card yet. Uh, I, other, I, well, I, other than the time I discovered it, so yeah. So I I haven't listened to the I haven't listened to the to the uh, animation uh, for the for the uh, swing yet. So, but when I do play it again, I will listen for it. Um, but yeah, I mean. I, I figured like I was seeing a decent chunk of aggro, um, so why not try to make a control deck out of out of a class I really love and that has some really good control tools. You know how when you're playing Magni, um, he goes by my shiny beard. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I, I I switched my hero in Rogue today, and I have not played its Investigator Scabs. He says by my shiny head because he's bald. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I started laughing so hard. <laughs> like that—that that, it was like Chef's kiss. So good. Yeah. <laughs> are these are are the sounds? I don't see them up on Hearth SFX, but it's not. I, a, I just pulled it up too, and yeah, it's but not, it's the Caverns of Time is it loaded into? There's it. also no like um. There's no achievements for mm-hmm. the collection with Caverns of Time, hey? No, uh uh-uh. Weird. I wonder if it's coming later, because they usually do that. Um, Yeah, no, there's nothing, which which I thought was strange, because I like to look there to see how much I have of the collection, and yeah, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Ooh. Was that the, uh, was that, that's, is that, there it is. Obey my command! Like sweating insects! Yes. So is that, that's, is that the new one? No, it's the old one. That's the old one, right? Uh, It's the only one that I had. I like this, though, when we... And welcome back to the show, Hydralisk. (laughs) That's... That's... Like swatting insects! (laughs) That's really cool. Oh, God. I love those little intro clips. We'll make more. (laughs) They're so good. So good. Mm -hmm. Anything else anybody been seeing? Like, disco is a big thing. Oh, Discussion I, I heard it's busted. Yeah, it, yeah. it's um, all over. It's all over wild. It is in twist. Um, let me pull what, what's stats. your what's your experience sheep uh, with disco? Yeah, disco is really, really strong. Um, but of course, like disco has always been, it can either brick or, um, you know, you can accidentally discard the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. The location is nuts. 
location yeah. is just Bonkers. absurdly good. Yeah. yeah. It's... Um, being able to discover what you're discarding is just, I mean, it's what discard always wanted. It really is. And then with the upside of then you draw two. And if mm -hmm. you have a Malkazar Zimp on board, then you're drawing three. And if, if you, you discard and if you a hand of a doll of them, in wild. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. I I had someone curve out like double Malkazars, both in like a singular um whatever, a singular location, and they drew four, and I was just like my deck can't come back from this, so I just literally conceded on like turn four. Because uh, like there was there's no way to come back from like to me that's like almost like I'm sure I could play it out. Um so I have played eighteen games of, of Twist uh today. Uh mm -hmm. I have I have faced forty percent warlock and I think almost all but like two of them were disco. Brutals. Um, then next after that I faced seventeen druids. Or 17% Druid, 17% Hunter. Beast Hunter is a very interesting and cool deck, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, I have... That's another deck I've, I've enjoyed playing a couple of times. I was kind of switching around between, like... I played a little Secret Paladin. I played, like, a lot of Jade Shaman and a lot of, like, Control Shaman. Played some Raza Priest. Um, and I played some Reno Warlock. Reno Lock, my beloved. Yes. Um, <laughs> the, the Hunter seems to be going for the... The Beast Hunter synergy, yes. like Starving Buzzard, yeah, that kind Buzzard of thing. Draws King of Beasts is a top end in this deck. So I far, think, like yeah. looking at my stats, I have not lost to it yet. Um, I think, yeah, Rogue. Sorta... I am two and one against the deck. Rex the only deck it. that lost to it was Priest, but Ros. But I just didn't really draw clears. Even Ross priest is running. Um, I, I ran into a priest running patches. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I ran into a, I ran into a warlock that was running like, um, that was running cannon and pirates. Yeah, yeah, the, I, people are having fun, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I was playing my control shaman, so they were trying to have their fun, and I was clearing all their boards, um, which was not a fun, probably a fun experience for them. But, um, having fun in Hearthstone. What? Having fun in Hearthstone. No way. Know, right. Yeah, that's all I but, did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, Disco is back in in Wild too. That's a, that's gonna be. Oh, it is. It oh, is. Yeah. It's absolutely it's amazing to have to deal with. Way stronger Ooh. in Wild than in Twist too. So, yeah. if you would we like so to kill, much. if you'd like to kill Disco Lock, you can play Even Warrior, and it doesn't stand a chance. So. Oh man! Don't I might, mind if I do. <laughs> I I do I do love the prospect of of that of that. I played thing. Even Warrior basically for like eight hours yesterday, like farming every single person playing Disco mm -hmm. Lock. It was awesome. <laughs> That's great, nice, man. Very very cool. Yeah, yeah. So, kind of like you, Azalea, I've been jumping around in Twist today, um, kind of in between like different work stuff. So I've got, of course, Armorn Rogue. Played some mm -hmm. Beast Druid. It's not very good. Oh. I played some Jade Druid. That, that's pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. Secret Paladin. It's all right. Uh, Dragon Priest. Like mid range, not the 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 Raza. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're that's running. Good. That's pretty good. That's They're pretty running good. patches too. Yeah. Yeah. Because the ships. Uh, Chirurgerman. <laughs> Matt, Matt was right. Yeah, that that is the, the new one man. The new say. one man. A priest card. Did he yeah. say it's yeah. Kyrugan or something like that? Right. I think you're right. I, I am Thanks, just going to say Chirurgan. Uh, <laughs> Curm uh, curmudgeon. <clears throat> yeah, it's really, really good, especially in that Dragon Priest deck in general, uh, because, you know, after you summon a minion, give it yeah. plus one health. You play tons of minions. You're playing super mid rangey. I had one stick like most of a game, and I won that game. It was great. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so Dragon Priest is really fun. Uh, I played some Cthulhu Rogue. Um, shout outs to Dano. Um, some Jade uh, uh, Rogue that was not the Death Rattle version. It was um, like I had like a Edwin Van Cleef and Undercity Huckster and hey, hey. kind of some more Burgle. Uh, buy funnel cake. Always. <laughs> <laughs> funnel cake. Funnel uh, cake. Get your that, funnel cake here. That one I think is a little like needs to be refined a bit because like Lotus Agents is in there and like that's not really a Burgle card. So it, it can definitely be tightened up a bit, that particular one. It was all right. Yeah, I uh, played against a Burgle that, that played Lotus Agents and they discovered like some pretty wonky stuff. 
Yeah, it's it's really feast or famine, but I mean, Burgle mm-hmm. kind of in general is anyway, so that's kind of on brand. Um, also played some aggro shaman, and I have Jade Shaman loaded up, but haven't played it yet. And then, of course, the one we were just talking about, Disco Warlock. Like, so I, I've been kind of all over the map today. Good. I lost. I lost to a twenty-eight, twenty-eight Cthune today, and I yeah. clapped. I like. I was <laughs> like, "Oh man, I love that." You know yeah. what? You win. <laughs> yeah. No, they win. Like, good for like I like I have not lost to a Cthune in years, and losing to a twenty-eight, twenty-eight Cthune actually made me happy. <laughs> it was so cool. This like, is the I, way. I was telling my yeah. wife, she's sitting on the couch over here, and I'm like, I'm having the time of my life. Like. Even if I lose, like this meta is so cool. Like having something new to play, like it's it's even more newer, quote unquote, in my mind than standard is, right? Because you are combining these old sets and everything. It's just like, hey, look, we're doing this now. And it's uh-huh. so cool. Yeah, I love it. And the buffs are all great. Too. Not all, not ubiquitous, but like the buffs that, that we we're seeing play are really great yeah that like, stupid they're, they're secret really mage impactful. buff ruined the whole game <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i forgot secret mage is like the thing that i saw a deck list for and I was... i'm totally kidding by the way <laughs> no like i mean i did still like so so um on twitter habu gabu yeah um put out like 34 deck lists that he kind of craft theory crafted for twist and one of them was a secret mage i haven't seen it play it. i haven't like seen it at all i i didn't look at the risk i didn't look at it myself i was looking for secret paladin um but still uh i thought that was pretty cool it is all over wild ladder the secret mage has yeah. exploded like on the really? for, for for me like i'm i'm running into more of it too 10x ladder it there is a yeah. lot there's a lot of secret mage now yeah yeah I, I might expect some too then. Mm-hmm. And You'll see it. Yeah. There's still so much like to explore too. Like there, there's stuff that I really want to play that I haven't gotten a chance to yet. Cause if I'm honest, I, you know, I was doing stuff in between work stuff. I was playing the like more linear, more like not really having to think about it too much, like a little bit, but like very familiar play patterns to me, like in jades and, you know, aggro and mid range stuff. Um, I played a fair amount of Cthulhu Rogue in my day too. Um, so <laughs> that's why that one made the cut. But like Cthulhu Druid, I really want to play too. Um, Cthulhu Warrior, I haven't even cracked that. Secret Mage is uh, is another one. Like there, there's still so much. Like I, I listed the decks that I played today and that was like a non an inconsequential number. And there's stuff that I'm still like, oh, I just really want to play this one. Oh, and that one. Oh, and this. Yeah. And <laughs> there's still just so much the the experimentation to be done and you know it's the very first day of the whole twist uh format um this 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 twist in particular so i'm I'm really excited to see how that develops um and hopefully it develops in a really fun way because like our morn rogue is incredible one thing i noticed that's super cool is the discover pool you have to remember is yeah back in time right so it was like Jade Chieftain, like the one who discovered, or like you play it and it makes like the taunt or whatever. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm not running that, but I will take an 8-8 Jade taunt or whatever the, the stupid thing is. Like, it's, it's just so cool to see the old cards in Discover. Like, you're never going to have that small of a pool. Like, in Wild, you're not going to see it, right? So the Discover yeah. pool is in this tiny, tiny section of expansions, and it's it's really neat. So the the whole thing is just amazing to me. Yeah, buddy. Well, I'm glad that we really like uh, Caverns of Time because, uh, kind of hearkening back to the very end of the news, um, I alluded to this, but I didn't uh, actually uh, do this news item. So I guess I'll go into this one a little bit more. There was like a whole new blog post about Twist is now live. And they um, actively, you know, say, you know, this is the first official day of, or the first day of the first official season of Twist, the newest Hearthstone mode. Um, <clears throat> so the uh, regularly rotating season, each with a new twist on the rules or eligible card mm. pool. So with constant shifts and new card combinations, fresh challenges await each Twist season. 
If you haven't tried it yet, you can learn more about Twist from the Twist announcement blog. Very familiar with that. Um, So uh, this launch season is Wonders. So there's not like a rule twist to it, um, but it is the um, Wonders um, card pool. Um, So Legacy, not Core Classic. Curse of Naxxramas, Goblins versus Gnomes, Black Rock Mountain, the Grand Tournament, League of Explorers, Whispers of the Old Gods, One Night in Karazhan, Mean Streets of Gadget Sand, and the newly released, as of yesterday, uh, Caverns of Time. So, uh, of course, mm-hmm. in Wonders, there will be no Demon Hunter or Death Knight classes because they did not exist. During- Except for you can discover their hero powers, apparently. Oh, yeah, oh. it's a glitch. Yeah, okay. you can still get Demon Hunter and Death Knight Hero like Powers Henley? as a glitch. I can't remember the Twitter post that I saw. I think it was Otters, maybe. I'll have to go they- back and, and, and take a look. But yeah, you can get the. Yeah, it is Otters. Let me send Nate. I'm going to send makes you. makes so much sense, too. Nate, I am going to post it. You can. There we go. It is in our chat of otters posting where you can discover the incorrect hero power uh, for the sets oh yeah ghoul charge and demon claws my claws that bite (laughs) my jaws that (laughs) punch i'm sure they will fix it but apparently it is possible at this point in time Mm -hmm. yeah buddy So the big takeaway of this blog post is what we've alluded to a couple times, and that is that Caverns of Time will be in the twist rotation for at least the first three twist seasons. So there may be, you know, some of the twists to the rules. Um, For example, in Uh the beta season, it was only um, uh, class cards, so no neutrals. That was the twist there, which, of course, also affected the discover pools talking about limiting yeah. those discover pools like you were mentioning earlier hydra but that was a prime example of that mm-hmm. um so yeah. we'll have more to share about future twist seasons closer to when they go live you can learn all about the new set in the dedicated caverns of time blog which we are also very familiar with the the hearthstone blog i'm, I'm a big fan of this thing <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> meow <laughs> meow Meowth, that's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and then they go on to talk about the um, da, 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 uh, cards that we you know used to be able to play, like Cthulhu and the Jades, and that we can play them again. And then talk about the battle ready decks. And so, if you're a newer Hearthstone player or the type of player who doesn't hold on to many cards, you can use those battle ready decks, like we talked about. So uh, with all these options, we can pick whatever weapon's best for you to jump right into battle. Whether They really like saying whether you're a long-time Hearthstone player, or this is your first time playing with these early Hearthstone cards, we'll be seeing you in the tavern. Nice, nice. They, they have seen me in the tavern. <laughs> I actually think that they're pretty accessible. I mean, I know people would complain that like, oh, how did I get into WoW? But like, you can, I don't think it's that that tough really especially with this new set so Mm -hmm. yeah especially with so many of those battle ready decks being able to be purchased with gold Um, i mean they all can be but you know four of them are 3200 gold two of them including jade shaman are 1000 gold like that's that's super free to play friendly and i really love seeing that Yeah. yeah absolutely i agree yeah it's a lot better Back in the day, I played Jade Shaman forever because Crip made a video about like the ideal deck for the meta, and it was a Jade Shaman, and it ran White Eyes. Oh my gosh! Oh, White Eyes, yeah, it yeah. was so good. I thought about crafting White Eyes. I ended up deciding to not do it, but I wouldn't because no, because Jade Shamans <laughs> don't really play it right. Jade Shamans really aren't playing it, so it wasn't no. really worth the craft. If you don't have it, I wouldn't craft it. But no. it, it's a it's a pretty cool card. That card's fun. Ah, card is yeah, fun. Yeah, White Eyes is really cool. Would I you agree. craft it? Like, uh, probably not. But I played it like way back in the day in like one of those big oh, yeah. shaman decks, and like, I don't, it's, oh, yeah. it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I I just it's, wish that it like summoned the storm guardian rather than shuffling it into your deck. Like, right? Yeah. Five five makes ten ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that would cool. be a lot better. You're right. 
Yeah. The, if they had buffed white eyes, that's probably what we would see. You know, it may be like six or seven mana instead of five, but as it is now, uh, yeah. you, know, you, you could play your unearthed raptor and, and copy the death rattle, but then you would just get these ten tens in your deck rather than in your hand or on the board, unfortunately. Man, you, you guys are making making me want to play some more twist. I mean, why so not? Fun. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Um another thing I'm interested in, because it is this 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 archetype can exist, and that is overload. That is overload shaman. Mm -hmm. With like because like there's quite a lot of burn. Oh yeah, and, yeah, and everything. No. The one thing that obviously is a slight deterrent is obviously there's no Wrath of the Air Totem without the four mana card, uh, mm -hmm. without the new card. Which I totally totems with, with a uh, thing from below is bonkers. Yeah, yes. Like turn oh. four, turn four, five totems, and you've typically either played like Tuscar Totemic or you've played, or you just hero powered. And so you just get a zero mana thing from below on four. It's fun. Ooh. I I opened a, a golden totally totally. I did like, too. Yes. I was oh, I didn't, I didn't three. <laughs> I, cra I crafted them. So I, I was so, so happy. I'm like, yep, there we go. Yeah. But I didn't. Hard so pro good. I didn't want to be like the Chad that was just gonna play totem shaman right away. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, I kind of want to try overload. Wow, nice sheep. Two of them. Nice. That is that is exactly two. That is exactly two. <laughs> We're at parody. That is not more or less than two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I think like with the bus, I think the big winners, the big the cards to me that feel like kind of big winners are like the discover a tri class card. Like they seem way more playable mm -hmm. now. Like Lotus Agents, oh, Cabal Courier, and the Grind Street. Fresh come from Kazakas. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it's like, like two two mana two two instead of three mana. Two, yeah, two. they're like two mana so two better. two for Grind Street as well. Like Yeah, it seems like maybe not so much in like Hunter, but like maybe in like a Paladin or Warrior deck. That's like I, I think there's all sorts of fun things. Like I had a friend like one of my my AFG teammates was uh was playing Nazoth Paladin, and I was like, and my blood just started like just like going because I absolutely love Nazoth decks. So like, I will be trying out Nazoth. I will be trying out Cthulhu stuff. Me too. Like, this I love is, Nazoth. Like I think I I tempo played one today. With, no, <laughs> with, with like with no death rattles yeah ah, i think uh funny it was I think a the, five seven yeah <laughs> i just like the i i just like that we can play those i mean the the like obviously they're playable like again like in this type of format it's so nostalgic as someone who played from 2014 all the way to like booms essentially around booms day without a break like i played every expansion like so i played through like all of this in, in Mean Streets and yeah, like it's it's neat. Like back then we did have some st like we did have some chunk of stats. Like Vicious Syndicate was still around. Was like pretty sure Vicious Syndicate was around back then um, to some capacity maybe. But like now getting to see kind of like in, with twenty twenty three statistics and what people look for, like what decks are gonna shine in Twist. That that yeah. and there's that in the buffs and stuff kind of change the decks and what's good. Yeah, most definitely. To kind of yes and that too, um, the data collection it has really improved too because so many more people are actually using Deck Tracker and linking that to Vicious Syndicate, um, linking that to mm -hmm. HS Replay. Mm -hmm. um, so whereas before, even if the, the data analytics were there, the data collection, like it just hadn't hit that critical mass that it's at now. Um, yeah. So there's just so much more refinement that can be done mm -hmm. with that, which is just simultaneously really cool. And then also like the, the meta is going to be solved once one of those uh, reports comes out. Too. Yeah, I am I feel like I, I don't think I'm going to try hard for like legend and stuff and twist. If I get there, cool. But I think I want this to be a nostalgic trip for me and, and have a fun time. <clears throat> like, yeah I, yeah, I I know, like, you know, all to everybody who wants to go for it and play the best possible decks. Like, you know, I probably won't play Discard Warlock. I, I, I'll be playing. I, I think Disco is probably like one of the only decks I'll dodge playing just because like 
doesn't seem like a super fun i mean just double two-way play experience i but... gonna say yeah, just play whatever you yeah. think is fun i mean yeah exactly yeah mm-hmm. that's what like i've been experiencing today mm-hmm. with it is like whether i win or lose the new meta has just been so fun yeah like we can play yog again in a format where yog was great and i, I don't know if he was nerfed by this point but like this is og yog and like <laughs> Uh, and I've played him in, in a Cthulhu, not Cthulhu, I, Jade I, Ro, or Jade yeah. Druid, and yeah. he's turned games around for me like numerous times. He, yeah. His his portrait's still bugged, so it's the uh, signature art, but it's inside the golden. Uh, <laughs> oh, weird! <laughs> oh, it's funky. Uh, but uh, well, yeah. Speaking of nostalgic things, Azalea Kari, I'm going to ask you a super nostalgic question, Nate. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, here you go. And now, on Radio <laughs> Nate With Nate Wolf. Azalea Kari, do you eat your macaroni and cheese with a fork or a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's, and why? That's a great question. I, I think it depends on the mac and cheese. The type of mac and cheese, like, so I eat, so I eat box craft mac and cheese. Craft dinner, yes. With, I mean, I'm usually given a fork when I make it with, with like, my family, but I, I think I prefer to eat that with a spoon because the noodles are smaller. So you can get more noodles on the spoon. Um, but, like, my mom has, my mom make, will make, like, kind of, like, homemade mac and cheese in the, in, in, in our Instapot. And like the noodles Ooh. are thick, and so like Insta-pot the noodles. Instapot KD, no way. So like the the noodles are different, like they're thicker noodles, and they're uh, much more rich with like the cheese is a lot richer. So I'll eat that with a fork. Okay. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. So I get to enjoy it. So a little bit spoon, more. You get more noodles. Yeah, spoon more noodles. Fork is I I think it just helps handle the bigger noodles more. <laughs> I don't know. If you want if you want more noodles in your mouth, wiser words. <laughs> oh god, wiser words were never spoken and you heard that on Bore to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> what other cards play the intro sound? I totally forgot about um... That's so cool. That that was a great last question. You 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 did hit my nostalgia bone. That was the perfect <laughs> question. Like oh. I went out. I was so tonight. I went to. Oh, wait. That's who you else the... has a who else like what other cards do those? I think you um... can play the you uh, can play Tyrion the... Tyrion Antonitis X Files. Tyrion, oh, uh, Tyrion is the one that we use, right? That's this one. Yeah, yeah, yes, that is Tyrion. But wild. <laughs> but Mage also wild. has one. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think uh, Antonitis is the okay. same as. Oh, that's that's Grand Magus Antonitis. Is that Romnath? That's Grand Magus Antonitis. I have oh Grand Magus Antonitis, the the fire, the fire Antonitis. Okay, but hmm, fire. I have not, I have not played that card ever. Arch. I had it in golden, and I dust, and I I, I dusted it. Arch. I, I hate to say that was the correct move. Yeah, I was so excited for it. I was like, man, this card's cool. It's never gonna be, never gonna be worth playing. But gosh, is it cool? I I do have the card. I'm like ninety percent sure, but. I do. I just have a regular copy of it. What happened was I got a regular copy. I don't dust golden legendaries until I get the other version of it. Makes so sense. Like, so yeah, like I have I have diamond Romnath. I do not have another Romnath. If I had it, I dusted it. But I wonder if if Romath has a. I don't know. I've never played. I've never played a deck where I needed Romnath. I do have Casino Mage in my. Oh, that's really. Cool. There Nobody we go. Needs wrong Patchwork ass. has one. Oh. Who does Patchwork? Uh-huh. Does Patches, though? I don't think so. 
I mean, all I hear is, yeah. Yeah. When he shoots out of a cannon. <laughs> it's not playing. Why is it not playing? It It's broken for a few things, unfortunately. Oh. I um, I don't really know what other cards have specific, like, things like Yeah, that. that's patchwork. Oh, gotcha. That's cool. Like, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh I got Guess a this one. Scone, I got a golden stone skin armor. Armor for desk cards. Awesome. I can't hear it. Are you playing it? I got. Oh, it's it's another broken one. Oh, uh, all right. Here. I, all right. I have one for you. I have one for you. Here you go. Oh, it doesn't play. Man. Is that you or me? That was me. Mm, I liked it. <laughs> it's one of my all time favorites. Mm, can you play it again? Yeah. It's from Rastakhan's Rumble. Oh. Oh, is it Hyreek? <laughs> no. Hyreek. <laughs> Grant me wings. wings. <laughs> so, so it's a it's a neutral legendary, but I played it mostly in Hunter. Uh. The Undertaker. Good guess. N no, but a very <clears throat> good guess. This is a fun it's game. Undasta. Undasta. Oh, Undasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, oh, ooh. is that Rin? Nope. Oh. And that, by Rin, I meant the original Rin. That's, yeah. uh... I feast upon your flesh. <laughs> huh? That's Hyreek. Whoa. Oh, that Bring is Hyreek. Where oh. is... What's the card yeah. that actually says Hyreek? Give me wings. Uh, That's, um... Jekyllic. It's, high, it's High Priestess Jekyllick. Or, or yep. High Priest Jekyllick, yeah. It's in... I believe it's actually in standard right now. It is. It's it's a uh it's a quote. From the void. Hyreek, grant me wings. I love yep. it. I love it. Hyreek. Hi grant Rick. me wings. Okay, th this is the intro for one of the best cards in standard. Oh yeah, dun, 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 dun. I, that's stand. That's standard, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh come on, I've played this card. I, I I've definitely. Oh played yeah, it. you've definitely played this card. It's a neutral legendary. I'm yeah, bad. At, I'm um, bad at this game, but I'm having fun. No, um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look up I'm gonna look up this because I'm gonna get it, but I wanna fizzle. No. That's photographer fizzle. No, really? No, good 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 guess. Um um um. Oh my gosh. I'll play it again. Yeah, that's why I thought it. Oh my goodness. No. Why? Um. Oh, is it hold these for me? Posic? It is, in fact, Posic okay. Audio Engineer. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Nice, nice. All right. I, I knew I knew I played it in. I knew I played it in either DH or Hunter. Because I, I've I, I've played so much hunt so much Posic oh, because yeah. I've, I've played Hound Hunter and, and how good it is in Hunt. It, at one point, it was good in everything. You just literally placed it in every deck, and then they nerfed it, and it was only good in Hunter. <laughs> but yeah. I think Posic is still underplayed. I think it's still pretty good, but yeah, it is underplayed. Oh, yeah. Well. You know that one. Ooh. Oh, that was Octasari. It was not. Although, no. although I have to. <laughs> so confident, though. I like it. <laughs> I, I had no clue, so I just um, guessed. Wild or standard? Wild, for sure. I'm gonna take a wild Welcome to or... the Grand Tournament, champion. Is that, is that true? Oh, heart? just a card, true heart. <laughs> it, yeah. is, it is. It is. Tank up to rank up. I made a golden Justicar True Heart fairly recently. Yo, very good call. I do. I I have True Heart again now. If I didn't already have her, I I'm playing her in my Raza Priest. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty new. Right. That's pal. Is that like a Paladin legendary? Uh, Mage legendary. Is that, is that Mana Storm? It is. Wow. <laughs> nice. I, I actually have a. So I actually have his uh, signature. Nice. Which yeah. Is, which, is, which is very, very funky. 
and mm-hmm. rad. I do enjoy it. Okay, here here's one. Um, oh, oh, I played that before. Is that one of the League of Explorers? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. It's, it's another mage card. Okay. Oh. Tip of my tongue. I don't know how anyone would ever know these. Like I like, don't either. Oh, <laughs> They're I, so fun. I would not know. That is Morganon. What secrets does the cosmos hold? Oh, is that it's it's Orion? Yep. I thought it I, I heard it and I thought it was Orion. I did. I was like like after you said it was mage, I was like, is that is that Orion or is that a Dawn Grasp? Oh oh here's a good one. Okay. It's not all oh, here? No. Close, but no. It's not no close as in it's shaman no okay they i know they uh, it is neutral i know they reuse some of them because like the the Tyrion and the antonitis one i think they're the same but wait play it again Mm -hmm. wind obey my command okay yeah that is close that that is it's so close right it's the opening i think it's the opening to it i don't know um i don't know it's it's another elemental it's another oh is that i think you know it i feel is it obscure or is it one that i should know is it it, it is not obscure is it baron geddon less obscure than baron geddon really uh-huh neptulon less obscure than neptulon wow okay <clears throat> less obscure elemental is uh-huh that... Is that the opening for rag that is the opening for ragnaros the fire lord really oh Swagnerus, my. Oh, okay. I, f- I feel like I should know that one, because I know I've heard it. I've probably heard most of these though. Yeah. That sounds like ra- That one sounds like rag. That was. It was, but the other one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was Ragnaros the light. That was happy rag. <laughs> I love Brett. That that actually that actually is in standard right now. That is the core. That is the core. No. Oh, that was last thing. Okay. So last core set, Ragnaros Light Lord was in it. Mm-hmm. I love that card. Ooh. If, if this one is uh actually in Hearth SFX, that uh this card is one of the ones that carried me to legend the first time. <laughs> Hi, Reek. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, I, oh man. See, I don't. Uh, see, I don't know. I don't know sheep history. What? So, like, I'm assuming this is first like, legend. Oh gosh, first that's legend. No, that's ancient history. I don't know. Um, I think I might have this. Is that Bar- is that Barnabas? No, mm-hmm. it's old. It's got to be old, right? Well, Not Barnabas old. is old. Barnabas is Angoro. But it, it's more recent than Angoro. This is, is a card from um, Rastakhan's Rumble. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have a ton of rumble cards, unfortunately. It was a paladin card. Another card that was in the same deck was the uh, Uther Death Knight. Oh, Shervala! That was Shervala. I love Shervala. Shervala Paladin. This is a fun game. All right. Yeah, this is holy a really rat. fun game. Holy rat. Well, as soon as you said it was Rasakhan's Paladin, and you said it was Paladin, I was like, oh, it's Shervala. Yeah, I love Sh- I love Shervala. I I never, I've never had Shervala ever. Oh. Never had it in my inventory. I never would have dusted Shervala. So so I yeah. mean, I've never. What well, the her. the like twenty five twenty five mana card? Yeah. That, mm-hmm. that you would kill your opponent. Oh, that one's well, fun. I know that that's from the Clockwork Orange. <laughs> that's cool. That's, cool. <laughs> that's right, do, my dude. <laughs> Oh, is that, not a Hearthstone? You're, is that not Hearthstone? You're not, you're not that far off uh, with with at least one of the words in that last sentence. Orange? No. Orange. Clockwork gnome? Clock was the word. Clock. But it's not the same word if we're playing like charades. But like, Did they really do that? Because if that's true, that's hilarious. If it's cl- like connected to Clockwork Orange. It's not. It's not. But like... 
I, I just I went to wild I said I typed clock and there's no legendaries that are clock besides there's clockwork giant nah it doesn't have clock in the title but it's but it's related to a clock okay why well, can't oh I forget I I wouldn't know is it a time lord is that the reason is it Toki wow you're echoing wow, you're echoing uh, I just working on plugging his uh thing back in. Yeah, okay. So I was <laughs> you, right. It was Yes, it was, was Toki. Right. Toki Toki Time Master. Time, time tinker. Tinkerer. Yeah. Skills in your cogs. We're, unstoppable. We're unstoppable. Toki is my favorite. Toki uh, is my absolute favorite. Um, oh, I like that one. Um Battlegrounds character. Like I I I just played the uh play thing first. I I messed up, so Oh. How much was Toki Time? How much is to Toki Time Tinkerer? Six. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Add a random legendary to your to add a random legendary minion from the past to your hand. I did a mashup of like right in the face and and the cause it goes uh, right in the cogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. It's uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Just do. Do you all remember the first ever golden legendary you opened? Yeah. Very vividly. <clears throat> I don't mm -hmm. I don't mind. Lore Walker Cho. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Yours? Uh, I'm trying to remember what it, mine was called, so I'm pulling it up. Mine was so bad. That's why I remember. I'm trying. Mine was <sighs> Illidan. Nice. Okay. Very nostalgic. Hence the, uh, when I did the quest rogue with it. Because it was the only golden legendary I've ever had, and it was so useless. And then I was like, oh, I can use it now. It's still <laughs> useless. Yeah. Mine was Fiola Lightbane. Nice. Like, yeah. not not a bad card whatsoever, but not one that was ever, like, mm -hmm. super played either. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is that Fiola? No. <clears throat> oh. It's a rogue card. Oh, I, yeah, I just thought you played it because Sheep said that. That's a good one. That's gotta be Draka. No? Thanks for holding on to my loot. Oh, I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I... You Is seem six... overburdened. Lucky I am here. Well, it definitely sounds uh, like it's, a. Uh, it's Madame Lazul. Just kidding. It's Pirate Admiral Hook Tusk. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's cool. I the initial thought I would have said not. Oh, I would have said sorry. maybe Nas. I would have maybe said Nas Whisker, but. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait, that sounded like, like a Ngoro one again. <laughs> oh, th this is United in Stormwind. Oh. Oh, Stormwind. Oh, I play that. I played that card before oh I always, yeah I always, you definitely have i always play with the sound off like i don't know these ones at all oh, dun, i i, dun, I know dun, that dun, um, i i can give a hint that'll give it away to azalea in particular huh. this card had okay. um very specific rules in thl around it oh okay yeah 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 i know what i know what card it is yep that makes sense <laughs> yep uh-huh I, I wonder if anyone else i wonder like nate and hydra like could probably I wonder if you guys could pick out which card in Stormwind would have needed a specific ruling in competitive mm -hmm. play. No. What's that? There's a specific card from United and Stormwind that required specific that required specific rule sets to be put in place. Mm -hmm. Demon um, Seed? No. Um because of its effect. Is it's it not one of Demon the, Seed. Is it one of the quest lines? Nope. No, it's a regular legendary. Is, mm -hmm. it, is it? Can you play it again? Mangrick. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's not from Stormwind. Yeah, it is. No. Mancrick is from Barrens, right? Barrens. Mancrick is Barrens. Mancrick is Barrens. But mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Think of a card that changes the start of game. Not not in the way of like a start of game effect. <clears throat> but... Right. Yeah, it's definitely Baku. <laughs> voice mod. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't start a game. You can't it, it will... always trust what you see. Oh. 
Maestro oh. Masquerade. Maestro. Yep. I should have known put... with the ruling thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. In TA... So, like, in THL, for the first season that Maestro was played, because yeah. Maestro wasn't really... Maestro wasn't really played in Stormwind, but because of a certain null put out in Fractured in Alterac Valley, <laughs> that got... That got but was it also put out here? Actually, no, it wasn't. It was. Yeah, I crafted it a gold Alterac. one because of that. <laughs> but uh, while Paul and Noel, because of the like stuff, because of the effect of changing your class, and once once the deck became viable with literally contraband stash scabs and Noel all coming into existence in the same set with some other Tifro cards, you had to say that you were playing Maestra if you were playing a rogue deck. That happened for one season, and then they Speakers. changed it to you don't actually have to do that. Like your opponent, yeah. like your opponent, like, you know, de like, yeah. And oh. in closed deck list formats like Legacy, you would have to call um, a, a deck that had Maestra in it. Maestra. You, would, you would always that, have to say it in Legacy. Uh, actually, um, so, so they changed it. Uh, I don't know if it was at the same time that they changed it whenever it was just like in the open deck list. Um, but if you had it called Maestra in your deck, selection so that whenever you were sending your bands mm -hmm. um your opponent knew that there was maestra you no longer had to say maestra in game at that point oh in the beginning it had to be on in your the beginning and you had to and you had to say it as well yeah in the very beginning you had to say it as well yeah. but but it was changed yeah. to where you didn't I, have to say it before i know i know because in, i played uh, even an open deck i played a match against ogre who brought my who brought thief rogue to the match and uh so he had to, so like he was down to like one deck and he was like this, he's like, you know, it's my answer. I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> in, in legacy, so in, but in hero series, um, you only had to say it the first time you played the deck because yeah. it was lost hero standing. So you would play it once. If you won with it, it would keep going. So your opponent already knew. Yeah. And it, there, that was pretty controversial. Well, there was a lot of controversy around that, uh, which is why it got, yeah. which is why they just took it away and just said, okay, like you don't have to do it anymore. Like you didn't even have to say it was my. You didn't even have to put that it was my Estra Rogue in the bands. You could just call it Rogue. Pretty sure. Uh, kind yeah. of in line with what the Masters tool, or in line with HS Esports ruled at the time. Um. Uh, all right, I got a classic one for you. Everyone should know this one. Here you go. Yep. 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 Yeah. I'm picking one pot. <laughs> So, that would be Kazakis. At last, At last a worthy disciple. disciple. Nice, very good. Unlimited power. <laughs> so oh, here's or die. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. I think that might be my favorite attack in all of our. So stuff. good. Yeah, I I um, bet Nate will know this one. Uh, is that like Blingtron or something? This is my yeah, MC Blingtron. Okay, okay, Blink okay, okay. Blink okay. Blink okay. Blink okay. Blink All right, MC Blingtron. I got it. Yeah, that was cool. Uh huh. In my my brain, I had it. Yeah, yeah buddy. Hmm. I'm just yeah for my fantasy. I put my fantasy draft in the in the thing for uh people to see that for uh the the people in in the in here to see. Oh, nice! I'm very, I'm very happy that it's like different from my previous one. I only have one player the same from my previous. Round. Oh, dun, 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 dun. that one's so easy. We're gonna. That's be, one of the league. We're gonna be rich. Magic, <laughs> magic, magic. I like to when he goes pew 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 pew. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, is We're that gonna a? Have that some fun. Is that Relicologist? Yeah. Or is that OG? Yeah, it's a Relicologist. Okay, Reno Relicologist. Okay. Yeah. I, I think that they probably have the same, like... Yes. Well, I don't know. I haven't played Relicologist Watch closely in a while. as I make everyone <laughs> disappear. <laughs> Pew! Yeah. Pew! Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, so the other one was obviously, uh, the amazing Reno. It's my favorite. I love the amazing <laughs> Reno. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then does he, does the original one, it's the same, right? Yeah, that's the original. We're gonna, yeah, be, we're rich. gonna be rich. How much? Uh, there we go. Yep. 
No, 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 no! Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, the classic. I loved hearing that after my... I loved hearing that, so my I didn't know my opponent wasn't gonna Zola. <laughs> it... Tell me, you know, have you done a No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what, what is that? I tell me, Minnow, have you done as I asked? Oh, that, that, that's a Naga card. I just don't remember. I don't know. Is that Queen of Jara? Is it? it might be Maybe? Queen. Um, is there? You worry? Okay, I'm gonna go to. You recognize that one? Mm -mm. I, I feel like Ross I should. No, it's from the set that they released the Colossals in. Oh, okay. So it is standard. Dun, 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 dun. Is that, is that a Colossal? Colossal? It is. Yeah. It is, yeah. Echo? No. Echo? <laughs> This is my, well, I think, one of my favorite lines in the, uh, my favorite it's... voice lines in the whole game. Oh. Because it's so rude. <laughs> it's not oh, Mega really? Shark. No, no, it's a col, it's a colossal. Like I'm trying to think. Uh -huh. Probably, that that that's, that's not what Hydra. That's definitely not what Hydralidon sounds like. Feeble prawns. Oh, it's oh. Gravitoa. Okay. <laughs> no, it's Neptula. Neptula. Yeah. You will be crushed beneath, crushed the, endless beneath the endless tide. tide. Feeble prawns. As, as I as like, I can as I as I concede. With the wind fury, yeah. it's just I heard it so many times. Feeble prawn. Feeble prawn. Feeble. feeble, prawn. feeble. <laughs> like enough. Enough. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Is that brand? Is that brand? Which one? Which one? Um, oh, Dino, Dino Tamer. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. We're totally echoing. Totally echoing. Oh, okay. Pew, 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 pew. Voice mod. mod. Oh. Oh. Okay, here's a good one. Oops. <laughs> I guess the other one kind of gave it away. I still don't know. That was Alakir the Windlord. <laughs> That's Murloc Holmes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The music does. Yeah, the music does sound very Murloc Holmes. Yeah, I like it. That's cool. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's that a like, that's a custom card. <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like the previous expansion. Uh, that's it was like, from Festival of Legends. Yeah, uh huh. It's a class um, legendary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The um. I I'm trying to like think of the of the music in my brain of yeah. like what it would be like. Um. Not Mr. Nukla. It's not infinitized the maxitude. I've heard that too many times to not. No, is that Starlight Groove? No, that is Helvetica Dark Hel Raven. Oh, Dark nice, nice, nice. Oh, Halveria. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Halveria Dark Raven. I'm a big fan of that card. It's, yeah. Sorrow Chord. Yeah. My torment is my muse. Woohoo. Yeah. Played it enough. I, I I have not listened when I play that card in Outcast DH. I am not trying to listen to the music. I'm trying to go because yep. <laughs> because it's <laughs> all right. I have ending the game. I've got one last one for you guys. Here you okay. go. Okay. Oh. Dun 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 dun. It's a classic. Yeah. When you hear that sound, it means the game's over. <laughs> yes, yes, it does mean the game is over. I want, I want the others to figure it out because I know what it is. Um, is that Leroy Jenkins? No, no. his is like no. a, some trumpet or something. Yeah, the game is over. Same, same idea though. A little yeah. bit larger. 
uh, King Crush. Yes. The best animation in Arsenal. Dum, dum. Stomp, 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 stomp. I wish it, it had the stomp out. in it though, because that's yeah. It was boom, boom, right. boom, 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 boom. I was bum, bum, bum. I, I heard. I mean, you hear that yeah. and you see the stomps on the screen. And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. If 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 that and that is the only legendary that I will always let kill me. Yeah, is, yeah. That's... Is is crush? So I just j like the problem, like, and it's only if they stomp. So like hunters playing faithful companions and and, nope. and summoning two sixteen sixteens. No, no, you don't get it. You get they you play get, it from get, hand though. You see those yeah. stomps. You like you, see you're just like the, all the right, water, you got, like you got me. <laughs> drip like in Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah you, you have to. Yeah. Can, I, can we hear buttons? I don't think so. Mm, nope. I'm still recording though. This is great. Like dang. Okay, after, I'm gonna after, do a after content. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be I'll be awesome. back. I I've got some major like audio. Uh oh, I'm trying to. Oh. I should I should probably go though. I'm like half asleep. Um. Okay. But uh, this well, has been really gone, fun, everybody. If, if you're gone, I'm resetting. All right. Yeah. Well. Ishnuala Archdruid. Maybe she <laughs> can like guide me through my problems. I don't know like anything with the uh, voice mod. Wiser words have never been spoken, and you heard that <laughs> on Bore to Me. Wild. Wild.